Rochelle Harrison Pless is covering that story for us from Sydney. She joins me now from there. Rochelle, a monetary mission from the UN is now inspecting the Great Barrier Reef to see if it should be given this in danger label. How bad are things there and how did they get so bad? Well, coral reef scientists say the reef is undergoing its fourth severe bleaching event since 2016. Uh, recent aerial surveys of the World Heritage Icon have recorded dead and dying corals across large areas of the reef, stretching some 2,300 kilometres in length. Water temperatures in some places have reached up to three degrees Celsius higher than average. Now, a UN delegation, as you mentioned, is currently assessing the reef's health ahead of a crucial meeting of the World Heritage Committee in June. Last year, Australia's Conservative government successfully lobbied uh, for the group to go against UN advice to place the reef on a list of sites in danger. Scientists now warn that the reef is reaching, is close to reaching its tipping point and could lose its function as a viable ecosystem, which does not bode well for that upcoming UN report. Rochelle, what kind of reaction has there been, whether it's from activists or environmentalists? What do they say needs to be done to turn things around and fast? Well, a brand new climate uh, report uh, from Australia's Climate Council says if carbon emissions continue at their current pace, then coral bleaching could occur every two years by 2034 and every year by 2044. Now, the push to drastically cut greenhouse gas emissions within the next decade uh, to slow global warming is gaining momentum. But as many have observed already, Australia has been accused of lagging behind much of the rest of the world when it comes to climate action. Uh, the country's economy relies heavily on fossil fuels and Australia is per capita, one of the worst polluters on the planet. Climate experts say Australia must do more to tackle climate change, otherwise we and future generations will no longer be able to enjoy one of the seven natural wonders of the world. Jeannie. Rochelle, thank you for that. France 24's Rochelle Harrison-Pless.